what is your drive for serving god hello my beautiful people how are you all doing good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are going to watch this you are super welcome to this new episode if you're joining for the first time you are super welcome to this channel and my goal through this channel is to break down big concepts in christianity to smaller workable tips so that you are able to apply them to enjoy the promises of god as he has promised in the bible i get to share different topics if you are interested in any topic always drop it in the comment section and we shall have our hands on it i am super super excited for today as we share what drives us to serve god yeah my name is christine kamsime i am from uganda and my channel is called ck to the world because my intention is to share good news to the ends of the earth but also once in a while i go around and craft for you good content clean content that you can watch with your whole family to know how we live life here in africa when I travel, when I do adventures, when I go out of Uganda, you are sure that I will pick that camera and take you around. So stay tuned. But today in the sit downs, I share the word of God as a Bible study, as a different thoughts, also as guidance. So you are super, super welcome. And I am honored to have you on this today's topic. And the question of the day is, what is your drive? It is an honest question that you can pose to yourself to even ponder and ask really in my heart of hearts, what is my drive for serving God? Is it for personal gains? Ask yourself this genuine question. Why do you do what you do? In other words, why do you do the things you do, the way you do them, the way you serve God? Why do you serve God the way you do? Eh? Is it a hunger or quest for recognition? Is it a hunger or quest for recognition by others? Oh, me, I can do this. People are seeing me because I am the best worshiper. Is it for prosperity? I want to make this much money by this time so I have to serve God so that he blesses me with a lot of blessings so that I am prospering, I am richer. Is it for fame so that around the world you are known, yeah, there is a woman in Africa who does this and that. Are you serving God just for fame? Ask yourself as I am asking myself. Is it about getting money and you drive that Porsche car which has been your dream for the longest? Or to own that mansion? Or buying acres of land? Like here in Africa, we consider people with land to be rich. Is that why you are serving God to buy hectares of land and own houses? Eh? Ah, me, I have land in this estate i have land in us i have i have uh, ranches in canada i have is that why you are serving god to do those things for yourself oh is it the pursuit of the things closest to god's heart let us read this verse Let us read NIV. Uh, any Bible that you have will still speak the same, but I am reading NIV. So uh, let's see Philippians chapter 2, verse 19. Philippians chapter 2, verse 19 to 22. Yes, I was looking for this. Uh, Philippians chapter 2 verse 19 it was uh, Paul talking about Timothy and he says I hope in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you soon 
that I also may be cheered when I receive news about you. I have no one else like him who will show genuine concern for your welfare. For everyone looks out for their own interests, not those of Jesus Christ. But you know that Timothy has proved himself because as a son with his father, he has served with me in the work of the gospel. This is just a simple verse showing how Timothy had given himself to serve God for the sake of the gospel. To serve Paul for the sake of the gospel, not for his personal gain. He has said everyone, verse 21 says, for everyone looks out for their own interests. So if you are serving God and you find that you are pushing more of your interests, I beg that you reconsider revising your reason why you are serving God because it is for the selfish gains, not in pursuit of God's own heart. To know what God's heart is saying so that you follow that. Rather, many as the Bible has said that they are, looking out for their own interests. So, presidents around the world, members of parliament, like we see here in Uganda, or in the rest of the countries, legislature, parliament, executive, arms of government, what is your drive? What are you up to? Are you following your own interests? Or you are out here to serve God, to know what people's desires are so that you serve them. Because that is the heart of God. Praise the Lord. So, God is interested in men and women with genuine care for the people that they serve. We are not in, in these ministries. You are not in whatever you are doing so that you get money and drive those expensive cars. No. We are not serving God to get beautiful husbands and wives, to get spouses. Or you are not serving to please God so that he gives you a job. You must serve God because your heart beats after the things that Jesus Christ cares about. May God help us. May God help us, saints, so that we know, we know why we serve God so that we follow after his heart we follow the pursuit or we pursue the things that are on god's heart praise the lord let us pray heavenly father we thank you for today we thank you for the word that we have shared today challenging us to think about the reason why we serve you as our father why we serve in different capacities why we ministers, why members of parliament, why the executive, why even as individuals, why we serve you as our master. We pray that we will pursue the things that you desire, not for personal gains, not to be richer, not to, uh, to own houses and cars as much as they are good for us to own but that should not be the reason the reason why we are serving you i thank you i give you honor i give you glory i pray for my subscribers i pray for my viewers that you touch each and every one meet them at their points of need abba father that they will testify about your goodness in the land of the living I pray all this believing in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and every saint says Amen. Alright guys, you are such a blessed team. Thank you for being an amazing, amazing family. Thank you for the support. Guys, I can't thank you enough. I am super excited to walk with you this journey and also watch my videos where I share african lifestyle showing you around how we live life here enjoy those as well when they come by 
all right stay blessed i'll definitely see you on my next one peace shalom adios